Okay, in number 11, uh, again, our right angle is always C, and the side opposite is the hypotenuse lowercase c, and that's given as 25. Then our other angles, A and B, the side opposite A is given as 7, and we're looking for the measure of angle B. So we know the hypotenuse, and we know the side adjacent, and cosine is defined as the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the cosine of angle B is equal to 7 divided by 25, and we take the cosine inverse of both sides, so B is equal to the arc cosine of 7 over 25. So in degree mode in the calculator, we do arc cosine 7 over 25, and rounding to two decimal places is 73.74 degrees. Okay, then in number 12, our right angle is C, angles A and B. Angle A is 50 degrees. We want to find side A, and side B, which is opposite angle B, is equal to 5. So if we're looking for little a, side a, that's opposite the angle 50, and we know the adjacent um, is 5, so that would be the tangent ratio, which is opposite over adjacent. So the tangent of our angle, which is 50 degrees, is equal to A, the opposite, over 5, which is the length of the adjacent side. We multiply both sides by 5, and 5 times the tangent of 50 is equal to side A, and we're going to put that in the calculator in degree mode and round to two decimal places. So 5.96 is the length of side A. Okay, then in number 13, our right angle again is C. The side opposite is little c, that's the hypotenuse, and that equals 3. Then angle A is given as 47 degrees, and angle B is up here in the corner. And we're asked to find side A. Side A is opposite angle A. So opposite and hypotenuse is going to be the sine ratio. So the sine of angle A, which is 47 degrees, is equal to opposite, which is A, over hypotenuse, which is 3. We multiply both sides by 3 to get A by itself, and then rounding to two decimal places, we'll evaluate 3 times the sine of 47 degrees in degree mode, and that's approximately 2.19. Okay, then in number 14, right angle again is always capital C. We're looking for the hypotenuse, which is lowercase c. Our angles A and B were given angle B to be 57 degrees, and then side B is opposite angle B, and that is a length of 10. So we have our angle 57, we know opposite, and we're looking for hypotenuse, that would be the sine ratio. Sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of our angle, 57 degrees, is equal to 10 divided by C. We cross multiply and divide by sine of 57 to get C by itself. So C is equal to 10 divided by the sine of 57 degrees. And rounding to two decimal places, 
we'll evaluate in degree mode 10 divided by the sine of 57 is um, approximately 11.92.